What's up? Steve here. Hey, look, Arnold's in the background talking about conquering. I posted a video earlier about how I used visualization and meditation to change parts of me that I didn't necessarily, quote unquote, like. Obviously, like, for me, it was being on time. And I just changed the perception of, of myself and I changed how I viewed myself. Um, and, you know, people talk about the law of attraction in terms of like money and houses and relationships and cars and all of that stuff. But, but I, you can look at any of that stuff. There's a guy named, I think his name's Adonis Bjornsson talks about some stuff. There's a guy with some higher level stuff called Bashar. There's Abraham and Esther Hicks. There's the secret. There's Joe Vitale from the secret with like the attractor factor. There's all the different stuff. We have all the steps we need, all the goal setting we need, all the different kind of stuff. But, but for years I, I chased goals and I chased like essentially conquering and I chased money and I chased like, I always put these videos up with like this idea of hoping that like lots of people watch them and I didn't necessarily worry so much about those individuals that are watching this on the other end of the screen. And I don't want to be disingenuous when I say thank you very much for watching this. I'm not making eye contact necessarily because I'm trying to look at myself on the screen. I'm in selfie mode here, but, um, but the point of this is here's an example of how this actually works. I, I, I set myself a, a framework of what I looked like as a happier person. Like how would I attack life if I was happy? If I was happy to get up every morning, if I was happy to sort of be alive and have some energy. So, you know, from there I got, uh, in doing some weight watches with my girlfriend and we, I lost 42 pounds, you know, in just a bit over a year. I put about nine pounds back on. I weighed myself just a little while ago. I'm 193 pounds. I started at 226. So I'm still down 33 pounds total. And for me to be able to keep it off for keep that amount of substantial weight loss still off after a couple of years, it means that I've changed the perception of who I am as a person. I've changed that visual through meditation and through uh, belief in myself and writing and, and just reinforcement. And here's an example of, of abundance that we don't often talk about or think about because we just think they're just pastors in the night or just good lucky things that happen because a lot of people out there seem to have this idea that, uh, you know, sort of a lot of life just is, is sort of crappy and then if we have good moments to carve out some happiness every once in a while, we're good to go. Well, I don't like that. I like the idea of being happy every single day and aiming for that every single day. I may not get it every single day, but I'm damn near probably 80 to 85% of my days are happy. I probably have, honestly, I, I calculated them, I probably have four, maybe four or five days a month where I'm honestly not super happy for most of the day, probably less than that. So it's like maybe 30 days a year, I would say, where I'm like, ugh, this day is kind of lame. But the rest of them, I'll take that. I mean, over 300 days a year where I'm like actually excited and not just complacent and kind of, I'll be okay with everything. Things are pretty good. Like actually kind of jacked up right now. And when I talk about things, sometimes I come across as intense and maybe seem a little bit angry, but I'm not. I'm just passionate. I want everybody to be able to live like this. And I wish I could just shake people. I could just grab them and be like, oh, just do this. But but you have to have your own path and your own journey based on this. So here's an example of how abundance like works for me in terms of like of of you know abundance and luck and all that stuff. Tonight I went to a baseball game with our local sort of AAA team here. And someone I hadn't seen in a long time just walked up and gave me a free ticket. And like, and I said, you sure? And, and she, said, she said, yeah. Gave each other a hug and said hi. Uh, and then somebody else came up and talked to her. And then we were chuckling about a couple things. And I actually forgot to thank her. So I had to text her while I was into the game. Hey, thanks for the ticket. And uh, she appreciated the fact that I said thank you. Because I wanted to express gratitude not just for the moment, but for her as well. Um, and again, we didn't talk before. I had no idea she was going to the game. I didn't see anything on social media. We are Facebook friends, but like, you know, you don't see every post from every single person. So this was completely quote unquote random and stuff like that happens to me all the time. And I, if we were keeping score, I put that in the win column for law of attraction and luck and, and things that I get because th there was a cash value to those tickets. 
and I got a, like a $15 ticket for free, right? You know, what if I don't win the 50-50 tonight? It's like 1200 bucks. You know, those things happen. They happen all the time, but we like to pass those over because they're not like a giant lottery win or we didn't get that huge promotion or that smoke show of a girlfriend with, you know, like that was just a 10 out of 10 knockout didn't like come running up and beg us to date them or whatever sort of stupid circumstance we have. Every little thing that happens to you is not a fluke. If you, if you aim for good things and you be a good person, and you put good energy out, then it comes back. Period. Love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep following me for more of this ranty stuff. And these are more, uh, my genuine videos. Cause I don't, I, I always want to make sure that nowadays especially people are getting the value out of this i'm never going to try and sell you anything if i do sell you something it's going to be um somebody else hiring me to be a speaker or something like that but there'll be never anything directly from my websites anymore or anything where i'm i'm selling you stuff directly i just don't want to do it with that all right okay talk to you soon love you